By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Explain what base quantities and derived quantities are. List base quantities and their units. List derived quantities and their units. In early civilizations, man used simple observations like the position of stars and the occurrence of day and night to tell time. However, as they became more sophisticated, these methods were found to be inaccurate. Instruments that could measure the passing of time were created. The earliest instruments used for measuring time were the sundial, the hourglass and the water clock. Other than time, these ancient people realized the importance of measuring lengths or distances in their daily lives. Can you name other measurements that we have to make in our everyday lives? Which tastes better, nasi lemak or roti canai? Would everyone agree with you? Can we measure taste? Which is more beautiful? Can we measure beauty? What is the boy's temperature? The boy's temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Taste and beauty cannot be measured. Temperature can be measured. Temperature is a physical quantity. Based on this, can you define what a physical quantity is? The students are measuring various physical quantities. When measuring a physical quantity, we must first identify what kind of physical property we want to measure. There are seven basic physical properties necessary to describe all physical measurements. These properties are known as base quantities and they are length, mass, time, temperature, electric current, number of particles and luminous intensity. In order for measurements made in different places and at different times to have meaning, a unit for the quantity must be defined. Although various systems of units have been used over the years, scientists have generally agreed to use the International System of Units or abbreviated as SI units. Let's look at the base quantities and their corresponding SI base units. We can say that a base quantity is a quantity that is defined independent of other quantities. Observe the indicator on the car's speedometer. What does it indicate? It indicates the speed is 80 km per hour. Look at the signboard. What does it tell us? The signboards show the speed limit and the distance to Saramban. Which of these quantities are base quantities?
distance and time. How can we calculate the speed of the car? We can calculate speed using a formula. The speed of the car is 80 km per hour. The physical quantity of speed is derived from two base quantities. We call speed a derived quantity. Can you identify two physical quantities being measured? Write your answers in the spaces provided below. Which one is a base quantity? Is volume a derived quantity? Let's look at another derived quantity. The students is measuring the length, width and thickness of a book with a meter ruler. How do we find the area of the book's cover? How can we determine the volume of the book? The length, width and thickness are 30.0 cm, 22.0 cm and 3.0 cm respectively. What are the area and volume of the book? Area and volume are derived quantities. They are derived from the base quantity length. What are the units for area and volume of the book? What are the SI derived units for area and volume of the book? Click to see some other examples of derived quantities.